Hello again, everybody. This is Kurt Berglund with a baseball unboxing of Sabretooth Baseball 2.0 or the modified version from the first version of Sabretooth, which you may have tried a few months ago and may still be playing. Uh, this version of Sabretooth is... Uh, shorter in terms of rules and procedures, uh, a little and definitely quicker in terms of tabletop play time. Um, so I want to show you what's in this box. Uh, I'm going to put the link for Sabretooth uh, in the description for this video so that if you'd like to go to the website and take a look, you may do so. This new version of Sabretooth is on sale right now. The PDF is $11. I have printed the instructions uh, for the game. I'm gonna show you those. I'm gonna, I've am gonna. i printed the charts and I've printed some teams and I'm gonna show you all those, all of that in this video. And then later this week or maybe this weekend coming up, uh, I will post a sample game of the new version or the second version of Sabretooth, a basic version game. The advanced version game is still available on the website. I think it's $9 uh, for the PDF. Uh, it is not, to my knowledge, available at, uh, where it's shipped to you in terms of sheets or cards or anything like that. You can only get it in PDF right now. The uh, I do not work for Sabretooth. I don't make a profit from doing this. I'm showing you a game that I think is worth checking out. Uh, I like Sabretooth. I enjoy the, the advanced version. And from what I'm looking at, I'm gonna enjoy this one too. This is uh, what I have printed. I just got back from my printer. Uh, my man Sam has printed these for me. This is the rule book. The rules and the font, as you can see, is big and there's a lot of white space so you can make notes um, on these pages. This is not tiny print by any means, which is good for people like me that can't see anymore. Um, <coughs> excuse me, uh, but this is a 30 page rule book with big font and a lot of white space. So, um, this should be a pretty quick read, especially if you've, uh, taken a look at the advanced version of Sabretooth. They look in the glance that I've taken at the rules, they look pretty similar. The, uh, charts for the basic game are look like this and I ran these off on cardstock but you wouldn't have to if you didn't want to two pages of charts plus the rule book that's it okay the rest of the information for the game uh, I got a couple of revised charts here but two pages of charts are what you get and the rest of the um, material that I printed off, I printed off on cardstock as well. And I'm gonna show you what these look like, but um, I'm gonna give you an up close and personal version, but as you can kind of see from a distance, there are nine cards per printed sheet. Now I ran these off on cardstock, but you wouldn't have to. You could certainly print these on regular uh, paper and be just fine if you wanted to go that way. So let's take an up close look at what the cards look like for Sabretooth. These are a, on a smaller scale, but still the same uh, basic format as the advanced version of the game. A card for Sabretooth, as you can see from my uh, trusty, uh, oh my God, uh, tape measure, is uh, three and a half inches, I believe. Yes, three and a half by, 
two and a half, two and three quarters. So you fit nine per page. You get your information about the player and the uh, uh, different roles that can turn into outs or hits or what have you along with their defensive ratings here as well. Player name in bold, team name underneath, and there you go. Nine players per sheet. And there are, in this team, this is the 72 A's that I printed. There are 28 players plus a ballpark card uh, for batting. And for hitting, there are 10 pitchers. I also ran off the 67 Red Sox. There are... Uh, 27, 28 hitting cards there, plus uh, 13 pitchers for the Red Sox. Plus a ballpark card. Take a look at the Angels. I ran off the 62 Angels. 18, 22, 24, 25 hitting cards for the Angels plus 11 pitching cards, and of course the ballpark card. And last but not least, the 59 White Sox I printed, uh, 9, 18, 27 hitting cards, plus the ballpark card, and then 10 pitchers. So you get around I don't know, 30 players, something like that, give or take a few, uh, for the player for the four teams that I ran off. These teams I'll use to demo the game later this week. Strength for Sabretooth, other than, of course, the price point is, uh, God, this thing's killing me. The strength for Sabretooth, other than the price point, is that um, there's a level of detail here with real playability that I think is worth checking out that other games don't do. The other thing, or don't do as well, another thing that I think Sabretooth has going for it that makes it worth you thinking about is the level of managerial thinking that you have to do when you play a game. And I'm going to try and demonstrate what that looks like uh, when I do the demo so that you can see that you're really getting into the decision making that needs to happen uh, for the uh, for a manager to be successful and to do to get the most out of his ball club the basic version of Sabretooth cover is is a set of teams great teams from 1959 through 1972 from both the American League and the National League. There's a lot more teams than just the four that I printed, but I was in a rush and my man Sam didn't have all day to print. So uh, that is Sabretooth Baseball demo unboxing. This is my stuff. Now I'm gonna get working on uh, making sure that I understand how the game works and I'll get a video up for you later this week, probably on the weekend, Saturday or Sunday, something like that. Thank you for joining me. I have, I'm have i really backlogged in demos. So uh, let me know if there's something that you would like to see. I know that I have a Repro Baseball demo coming up. I got to do that. Uh, and I know that I have a new set of replay coming out, the Franchise All-Stars. We're going to take a look at that um, in a demo and uh, well, a whole lot of other stuff that I've got to get to. I'm way behind, but thank you for sticking with me. Please subscribe if you haven't already so that you can get a reminder for when my demos come up. Usually it's on Tuesday, but uh, again, a subscription is the best bet so you can get a reminder of when my stuff hits the air. Thank you again for your subscription and your likes and your comments. I'm Kurt Berglund. So long, everybody.